at CB2012. So what do you think about this device? Hi, my name is Mike. I have here with me the Xperia S. And the, it's a cool phone, right? It's the last uh, flagship phone from Sony. It has 4.3 inches of display with a resolution of 700p. So uh, HD resolution on this phone. So a lot of uh, bloggers say this is the best phone in the world. Why do they say that? Um, it's not the best phone, but it's the best all-rounder you can get for a very, very competitive price. It will be on sale for about 450 euros, and with that you get this amazingly high-res screen, bright, full of contrast colors. We'll open the gallery so you can check out how bright the colors are with Sony Mobile Bravia but technology. It, does, it doesn't do uh, what this one does, like with the, the colors. The Xperia U has a uh, kind of like ambi-like feature on it, but the Xperia S doesn't have that. The U is more for the yeah, U, uh, yeah, and with that it has these flashy lights and customization you can uh, pull off the cap on the U and exchange it with other colors. So which color do you prefer? I prefer the white one. I always yeah. liked white phones just to have a contrast with the display. The white is cooler? Why? Um, doesn't look so... Uh, if you see a touchscreen phone nowadays it's all black, sl black slabs and uh, every phone looks like the other. And, um, Certainly the white color does its best to break out of this habit and you too get this transparent LED stripe I let it light up a bit uh, which underlines the screen which separates the screen uh, from the bottom part that keeps What is in the, the bottom part? Is it the radio? Yeah, and the antennas are all in the bottom part So that means it will work with both hands Yeah It's at the end of the device Down here And you won't uh, get a diff, death grip or antenna gate with this device And the photo is fast photo You get fast capture on this device uh, sorry, I couldn't fully show it as this will go to retail demo as soon as I lock it. But I will show from the lock screen. I press the shutter and dev uh, the device has photo taken. Nice. It's here a special camera see, now, so. Here you can see the face detection. It's a special working special camera? Yeah, it's a 12.1 megapixel camera. It captures full HD videos and has an Exmo sensor that's backlit for better pictures in the dark. So, what, you are a Sony Ericsson fan? Yeah. Why? I really like the design of the devices. Uh, Sony and former Sony Ericsson always had a special design on their devices. Think back about the X10, it doesn't look like any other touchscreen phone. The Arc, the Arc S, they all had a special design on it that kept them different from other touchscreen phones. And so the Xperia Next series continues uh, that approach with the LED stripe. How do, how do they do that? How do you think they are doing these designs? Do they have a special design team? And they do. And you can see. Um, these LED stripes were on Sony Bravia screens two years ago. And as mobile phones are in development for about two years, um, Sony Ericsson designer team picked up these ideas, said, okay, we have the technology, let's use it, um, and brought it to their mobile devices to uh, get a, yeah, an edge over the competition. So, what do you think? Uh, Sony is going to do next? This? Uh, but what I, of course, what else? they will continue with this design approach. The monolithic design will be continued through whole uh, Sony Corporation, their Bravias, the uh, DVD and Blu ray players, and the mobile phones will continue to have this design. Shouldn't they, they merge with the PS Vita, or merge, you know, merge everything they do in one? There are actually uh, talks about bringing the PS Vita also to uh, mobile phones. I think a better way would be otherwise 
uh, to bring the Android experience to the PS uh, yeah, portable devices. So can you tell a little bit about the history? What did you have as uh, Sony Ericsson devices? I started out with a K700 Sony Ericsson, the first dual front camera phone back in 2003. Uh, got the S700, a strongly Japanese inspired uh, swivel phone. Then uh, over the K800, first Cybershot camera phone, um, continued to get the first Android uh, phone from Sony Ericsson the X10, and I'm all looking forward to getting my own experience. I'm gonna get this one. How soon is it on the market, do you think? It will be available in Germany. We are here in Germany at the seal. Uh, starting from March 16. March 16. Alright, and you, run, you, you used to run uh, the biggest forum for Sony Ericsson? In Germany, uh, SA World Info was the biggest community around the Sony Ericsson forum, uh, mobile how, phones. How many people in there? Um, registered uh, about 200,000. 200,000? Daily visitors about 40,000. But why is it not more? Not anymore. Yeah, what happens? So, um, the, the forum. They were all visitors and barely no uh, new content um, due to the shift from the proprietary OS on the Sony devices to Android. People shifted from our Sony Ericsson forum to the Android forums. When they, uh, when they needed help about a Sony Ericsson Android device, they didn't uh, got help from the users there that had a K850 or some other Walkman like uh, W880 or So when did you like start that. that forum? The forum started out uh, in August 2006 I think? Mm -hmm. Six, five. I wasn't there at the beginning but when I joined the forum uh, I you quickly... But you took over. Yeah. Um, they have three different uh, ranks there. Expert, moderator and admin. And I got through all the ranks within uh, a year.